I got some news for you guys. I bought another car, and it's not a BMW. Oh, snap. <laughs> so, there you go. yeah, shout out to my mans right here for allowing this to happen. <clears throat> Dave's taking forever. Me and Ed are just chilling right here. We're, we're, sign, we're both curious. <laughs> it's not a good sign. We're both curious on how this car is going to come out. So, <laughs> we're just... Yeah, so Ed knows it's a walk of shame to get the jumper box. So I seen David go that way and then back, and he hasn't came out yet. So fingers crossed. But this is, you guys know me how I live life. This is like what excites me. <laughs> plan B, yeah. Plan B is to tow it with the Range Rover. So we'll see when it comes out. Once he comes out, <laughs> we'll see the car. Yo, <laughs> it's ha it's happening. Yo, look at that. All right, I'm taking you, Ed. You're coming with us, bro. <laughs> First review of the LR3, we're with the range. For some reason, I'm a bit excited. Usually I don't give a f but I don't know. It's just like, it's the fact that because it's from an auction, you have slight chances this car might be good. I'm looking at it. It's running. It looks, it looks from right here. What are we, 20 feet away? It looks f solid. I don't, I don't hear any knocking sounds. <laughs> Sheesh! Oh my bad, I'm trying to do two cameras and I'm getting an ad's point of view. <laughs> I'm excited to see what Dave says right now. I know, my wife took so long to get back. For real. Yeah, they like check the trunk and stuff like that, make sure nothing's in there. To be honest, Dave wants to tow it so it could be like back to back. Oh, bro, here goes my content mine. I gotta get the film camera too. Oh, like the actual film camera? Yeah. Oh, nice. Get a picture of it driving out of the gate. This was holding three cameras. For real, bro. Pretty solid, solid, huh? Like, like I told you, the only parts that were painted were the bumpers, the handles, and the over fenders. Dude, Dave has a smile on his face, bro. Dude, it's cool. AC's hidden. The radio works. What? Engine sounds good. <laughs> we took so long to bring it out. Yeah, yeah. We had to jump it. It was dead. <laughs> we were looking. Find the jump box. Look at where we were having Ed on the phone too, bro. This looks. Clean. It does look really clean. Holy shit! Look at that. It looks like a mom's car, though. Yeah, that's the plan with this car. Dude, Dave's really happy. Dude, this thing is, is mint. First time looking at the LR3. Let's do exterior burnt body check. Okay, fog headlights, of course. Land over the, the, the black letters yeah, I'm probably pop. I'm the gas station right now because I think, I don't know if the battery's going to charge. The tires look good. Okay, a little bump there. That's like the only thing though. Okay, let's check the top. I don't know what this is, antenna. Look at this glass, bro. Okay, first time seeing the interior. <laughs> that has an old Land Rover smell. Okay, this is the biggest issue. We have a light here. Forgive me, I don't know how this works. Ha! Ah. We have a suspension light code, so we'll see. Yeah, three sunroofs. Three, moon, three sunroofs. Yeah, and a that, TV too. And a TV, bro? What? It does have the TV. Yeah. Oh. Wow, bro. And it works? It's working. We'll figure it out later. The three sunroofs is what got me, y'all. Okay. This is the biggest concern. Range Rovers and Land Rovers, they all have air suspension. It has the air light on, so that means it's stuck at normal height. We're not sure why. This is the verdict to find out if it's on core levers or not. What is that, fellas? What is that, fellas? 
And it's still got bags? Yeah, I mean... Yeah, we're full scanner right now, but... I, okay, the shocks are a little old. It doesn't seem like it has any sort of... And then, I don't know how to open this. Oh, right here. Sheesh. And then we have the rear passenger, so it's a seven-seater. Bro, I might duck around to start a family with this car. I'm pretty happy. I'm happy. I knew this was a chance to have a good car. I mean, we don't know if it's really good, to be honest. This is just, just a quick walkthrough. But, yeah. This is my first test drive. Steering is a little heavy. Ooh, thought it feels good, though. Okay, so far so alright. Shout out to this man right here, dude. Bro. Shout out to him. Bro. If anybody, but if anybody wants to buy a car, hit up Ed. Ed, how do people get in contact with you? I just put it in the description, huh? Twin Bros. Twin Brothers Auto. Twin Brothers Auto, yes sir. I mean, he got access. He's like a real estate agent for cars. <laughs> cool and temp stain good? Cool and temp stain in the middle. Yeah, I mean, the power steering is a little like heavier, but other than that, you're you're pretty happy about this. Look how good it looks. <laughs> huh? Just check all the fluids before you leave. Cool it, power steering, oil. Right, right. So the first thing I do before I get to the cars on the auction. Suspension fault, normal height only. Okay, so we can't do anything until we fix that. But it does have heated seats. AC is blowing good. It has this outdated infotainment system. It's 2006. Double glove box. Double glove box, bruv. Double glove box. Hey, this interior is like, I'm a, it's pretty, it's pretty nice. I'm a diet. Charcoal brown. Oh, you have remote control in the back, bro, for the, the TV. That is crazy. Yeah, third row too. No. Yeah. What? But they got buttons in the back to control. It feels really good in there. The AC is blowing code. So far, so good. We've been driving for like an hour so far. Um, but any stop, any chance I'm getting, I've been pulling over, taking photos. Damn, that looks sick. Overall, it's been good. The car's really comfortable. I drive the Z3 every day. This is heaps better. I didn't give you guys no backstory on this car. Basically, I bought this car like three weeks ago and it just sat in the auction because I didn't have time to pick it up. Where I bought it from was San Francisco, which is five hours away from me. So I had to do a five hour drive back with a car that is from auction that I don't know what was gonna happen. You guys already know I love doing that stuff when I bought that car from Portland. If you haven't seen that video, it's right here. But long story short, fellas, the car drove smooth. And I'll tell you right now, airbags are crazy, crazy good. I never driven airbags before and they're like smooth car coming from the ether. Okay, I'm enough ranting. I just want to give you a little backstory. Apologies, fellas. I was a bit excited in that video. I was like everywhere too. I mean, if you know me, you know why I'm so excited for a car like this. I was partially excited because I just didn't know what I was gonna get. It was like a gamble. <laughs> that made it more exciting. If you made it this far, can you like the video for your brother, please? Also, between me and you, um, I caught off work today. It's Friday. And we're two hours away from my home in the mountains, I'm gonna find like a beautiful waterfall with like bowls of water. If you wanna know where I'm at, the name is called San Paula Punch Bowls. This is the setup, quick and easy. Came here around three o'clock in the morning. Can't wait. So yeah, I've mentioned in the video, ideally this is gonna be a off-road rig, Overlander. So I'm excited to go and do something completely different. But look at this. I just swapped with these people because they were trying to pull in. There's a rock there and they couldn't fit. But <laughs> There's much more I can tell you guys. There's a lot more that I can tell you guys. So far, I, I think I've been owning it for like almost a month. Let's just say a month and more than a thousand miles. And I have my experience to share with you. And I want to because it relates to BMW so much. So um, I'm going to go chase some waterfalls. I'm not going to take you this camera with me because I don't want to break it. So we're going to leave this in here in the whip. 
and I'll see you guys when we're in there. Marty and my element feel good. <laughs> blessings on blessings. But I'm gonna take you guys on a little adventure with me in the LR3. First, not really the first one I'm capping. I've been on a couple adventures so far. But yeah, man, it's good. I'm gonna save it for another video, but I just can't express how excited and, and how much I wanna share with and document everything. I was hoping that I could drive more closer, you know, like off-roading, but nope. Okay. Sheesh, look how fresh this water looks. All right, here we go, P testing. Okay, not too bad. Yeah, so if you don't want to go on the hike, you can literally just dip here. But there's some nice, epic waterfalls that we got to go. Solo Dolo got the whole thing to myself. <laughs> yeah, called off work because I knew this place would be packed on the weekend. So look at this. Beautiful scenery. I just hit that water slide. It's a little sketch. I almost hit the wall. <laughs> um, but since I got you guys here, right, and we made it to the end, this is the end, this is the outro. I'll just explain why I'm so intrigued about the LR3. It's just, first of all, Land Rover has a bad reputation, just like BMW, and so far it's been good. I mean, you guys know that your boy loves traveling, got that wanderlust in here, loves to get lost, and the LR3 is just gonna enable that even more. Rooftop tent, big tires, camping all the time. I've done that multiple times on my channel, but just hints and glimpses. I'm still gonna build BMWs, but for the most part, I'm excited. I'm really stoked, and I'm, I hope you guys are, are excited for the new journey too. Uh, let's end it by jumping into the water, yeah? I'm just gonna, hopefully, the phone stays on. Hopefully. This is probably a sacrifice on my phone. Here we go. Okay, if you made it this far, like, subscribe, call all the things you just done. <laughs> I'm gonna chill, try to get rid of this farmer's tan. Your boy got a stupid farmer's tan. And hike back to the LR3 in a little bit. But this is just a beautiful scenery before you guys go. Look at this. 